Now that we've uh, started our tabletop, we can start uh, entering some more conditions here. Uh, for example, the material, uh, just a regular uh, carbon steel, uh, it'd be a good time to, uh, to start setting the material now. And you can see the beginnings of the cut list here. Uh, you'll see that in the cut list we have four tubes already made. And we can use these uh, in our bill of material or our cut list to uh, uh, figure out exactly what the proper dimensions of those uh, members are. So there's um, a good start to the uh, tabletop. We'll uh, move over to the sketch now and we see it's got uh, uh, start putting some legs on this thing, the same 3x3 three three, uh, hollow structural section and um, it's uh, basically got six legs all of them 32, 35 inches long. So let's see if we can get those on. So just going to flip the table upside down. Okay, now the next thing uh, I need to do is get the legs on this table. And uh, when I started off, I positioned the sketch uh, for the tabletop. Uh, you can see it here. The exact size of what it was uh, for, the, for the table. If, you, if I double click on the sketch here, you can see I made it so that the entire top was exactly the same size as the table. The, same, the sketch is the same size. So that should make it easy to uh, make uh, to work with that uh, to get the legs because all I need is to position uh, the sketch for the first leg at one of those corners. So the way I position the line is just pick this point here, the intersection point, and made it collinear with the line and then took the top of the line, that's this point here, and made it coincident with the bottom of this plane. Then all I needed to do was add a length for that line and I used 34 and a half inches and the reason I didn't use the 35 inches from the sketch is because I still have a half inch uh, pad on the bottom here that I'm using uh, as a means to support, uh, as a means to include the uh, vibration pad that supports the table. So after that, all I've got to do is sketch in the hollow structural section, which is, uh, and the way I do that is just position the tube at the apparent intersection. So we'll, if I look at how I did that, if I locate profile, you can see I've chosen the apparent intersection of this tube and I can pick any one of these other four corners uh, if I wanted to, say, have this one. Once I've got one tube in place... I guess the easiest way to do that would be to mirror and pattern. Uh, so I'll just insert uh, pattern mirror. Uh, and because we made everything uh, symmetrical about all the planes, it shouldn't be too difficult to, uh, uh, to get the... Uh, pattern everything about the uh, the right plane here. So I'll just mirror that. Now I'm not mirroring features here. This is a weldment, so I'm going to be mirroring bodies. So I pick the body and mirror it across and pick the other uh, the right plane, the front plane this time. Insert and pattern mirror and uh, bodies to mirror. We're going to pick the two other remaining legs, so that takes care of those. And now we've got four of the six legs, so uh, the next thing we need to do is to uh, probably pattern them would probably be the easiest thing to do. So if I just take a, uh, a pattern, linear pattern, and uh, pick a straight edge, uh, flip the direction, and we had, uh, what was the uh, dimensions here. It was 64, so we'll go back to, uh, let's try 32, but it's a 3 inch leg, so I think we might have to uh, subtract 3 inches here. So I'll just add that in, and bodies to pattern, I'll pick that leg and that leg, and we'll see how that works out. Doesn't look quite right. 
still off by a little bit and what we need is uh, just to make sure they're in the center so we'll just see what the dimension is here and tools measure in the uh, X direction it's 29 inches and uh, what I need there is uh, 32 so I really I shouldn't have taken that three inches off I didn't need to do that so I'll put that three inches back in edit that pattern and make it 32 take a look at what we've created now and we've got our three le our six legs and the tabletop so we'll move on to